quite at the level of yeah. a Sinji. It's going to be which hard isn't to... Which is much to say because Sinji is clearly the best Pac-Man. Yeah, it's going to be hard to list any Pac-Mans uh, at the level of Sinji. Um, and obviously uh, Sinji... Sup. There's T. So, right. Sup. And, Sup. and Nebula. And Nebula, too. How could we forget? I have lost two... I got double eliminated by Nebula at a tournament once. So, I mean, I'm going to hold that. That was Rebirth 5, the Fire Alarm tournament. But... <laughs> All right, so we're going to see how, uh, yeah, exactly how Ned is going to approach this matchup. Ned counters the uh, the fruit charge by charging his own limit, which I suppose is a fair trade, right? Yeah, I mean, Sinji's going to get his uh, the fruit that he wants no matter what, but and I, and I have a feeling Ned's going to get limit no matter what too. So it's just going to be a matter of which one uses their their charge tools to the better extent. And it's, oh, okay. it's a little bit easier for Ned, I think, to get his full limit online. And this is exactly where Ned wants to be. He is well known for holding that limit as long as it's possible, using these movement, gravity, etc. buffs to his advantage. And he's going to try to press the issue. And Sinji, as Pac-Man, is going to maybe have a hard time because this is one of those characters that just gets in Pac-Man's face and doesn't let go. Yeah, getting in his face, that's exactly what Ned is doing right now. He's doing a great job, like, just minding his spacing, giving Pac-Man enough room to think he can breathe, and then just running up on him. And this 103% to 9 unanswered from Ned is a statement at the moment. He's coming through right now, and he's coming through a big time. Yeah, Sinji hasn't been able to build any of the space that he needs to, uh, to set up his traps, to set up his, uh, his fruit projectile. Oh, set up. Oh, my God. Okay, this is big. 62% from 9. But Ned going to break the zone real quickly, back off. And now try to find a way in. Wait for this Galaga box to kind of burn oh. itself. But Ned, he thought he didn't have limit yet, and that's going to be the finishing touch into nothing to burn it. Yeah, now Sinji has plenty of uh, space to operate. Even though it's off stage, it's still space to operate. Hello? He tried to use the super armor there, I think. Yeah, that really was, quick. Yeah, definitely an interesting option. Did get some damage for it, so. And more importantly, didn't die for it. And, you know, there's quite some good clouds for Sinji to practice on in the Tri-State area. He does Absolutely. have Ralphie pretty regularly to play this matchup in. But I do think Ned plays it, or at least Ned plays Cloud generally a little bit differently than Ralphie. And he's going to back up with this back air. Ned's so good at retreating those. Yeah, I mean, like, when you have that kind of situation, you knew that uh, Sinji saw that opportunity to go in with the dash attack. And so did Ned, which is why he went for that, uh, that retreating back air. All right, yep. waiting out the bell. That was very scary. That bell, <laughs> that bell can lead to so much. Mm -hmm. And I see Sinji like build up so much fruit charge just in that little corner under the stage. Like it's it's so hard to contest Pac-Man down there. He's gonna get like at least a few uh, fruits charged. Oh, is that gonna kill? Oh my lord! Yeah, usually the fire hydrant. <laughs> yeah, usually Sinji's the one aiming those uh, those fire hydrant kills. That fair gave it so much knockback growth and just. Came through and finished the job. And that, that's kind of a testament to how patient Ned is playing, where he just doesn't even try to go for any of these crazy kill options that Cloud has, and Cloud has very many. Yeah, exactly. He knows what he needs to do to win the long game here. All right, ooh, jumping right out of shield into the hydrant. We got a trap of the ledge, potentially. Ned waiting and yeah, just continuing to wait. That trampoline does not reach below the ledge, so Ned knows the option. Sinji trying to escape here using that Hydrant again. Yeah, kind of stuck on these platforms. But look how fast Cloud is. There's almost nowhere to go for Pac-Man. Even though he hasn't taken any damage, he's just put in such a defensive position. All right, yeah, just trying to utilize this bell here. Well, he got, oh, he got the, the paralyzed, but he was just too high in the air to finish off with a smash attack. And Eddie able to recover without burning his limit. That's a big win for him at the moment. As Pac-Man tries to build on percent here, the timer's taken down. Uh, oh my goodness, you're right. There's two minutes left. I didn't even notice. Oh, this is definitely going to be it. All right, finishes off the first stock. Now Sinji's going to have to pull off another kind of crazy fruit setup combo uh, to gain the lead here, especially when we have a potential timeout situation. All right, Fire Hydrant to back air is quick, 20%. That does put Sinji in like the realm of getting the lead back, but he's not quite there yet. It's not as crazy as the the percent we saw it in Ooh. the first stock. And just like that, uh, the Galaga ship coming through. That footstool coming through too. And there it is, Sinji has the lead. We have a minute, 30 seconds left. 
right. But Cloud can get that lead right back, don't forget. A falling up air leads to just so much damage. I like how he put the Hydrant there so he didn't have to bounce on the trampoline, but he can still leave it there. Oh, that Ooh. neutral are gonna break through and get in the up tilt too. And here come some follow-ups. Yeah, scary stuff, but he retreats behind the Hydrant. Ned has to uh, deal with that before he can get to Sinji. A nice grab coming out from Ned too, putting Sinji in this corner. Sinji breaking through with the forward air. Ooh, that neutral air though, gonna break him out. Oh, Reset yeah. the situation. A lot of Cloud's aerials just immediately demolish the, the Hydrant. It's not really much of an issue. Actually, oh. it seems like the only one that immediately demolishes it is that forward air. Or the down air, we saw that too. Maybe sweet spot down air, because you see the back yeah. air comes through. That, that back air does so much damage, but it's not enough. And now we're... 4% difference between these two. This is a crazy game so far. Limit on deck. That's it. Oh, it gets hit just by the bell at the last second. And Sinji saved by the bell, getting that first game with only 30 seconds left. Can you sing the song? No. I'm not even going to attempt to. I actually never even watched that show. Like, I've probably seen like a couple episodes. That's a... For most of the people who are aware of Twitch.tv as a website, I don't think any of them know the Saved by the Bell theme because just... That's not our generation, yeah. man. We're all millennials, right? I don't think Pac-Man's our generation either, to be honest, but here we are. Pac-Man is definitely my dad's generation. Ooh. But we'll see how Ned adapts. We saw him like start to adapt really quick because he's starting to understand, A, what aerials oppress that fire hydrant really well, right? Because yeah. we saw him try the back airs and the neutral airs, and it's not enough by itself. He needs to throw out, see, the back air just lands. It doesn't do enough. Yeah, and then that gives Sinji the opportunity to just kind of throw a fruit at it and then immediately uh, get it flying. Ned is a very, he, he's a student of the game if there really ever was one, so I wouldn't be surprised to see him adapt very quickly to the style of play thrown out here by Sinji. But Sinji able to clutch out at the game one, of course. Yeah, I mean, speaking of being a student of the game, I don't think it's possible to play Pac-Man at this level and not be qualified as one. No, you need to be incredibly ahead of yourself. Uh, in order to outplay someone who's playing like a Cloud or a Bayonetta. Ooh. And that quick damage right back here from Sinji. He's playing so good right now. Yeah, again, just building up more fruit in the corner there. And notice that Sinji is really smart to not be burning that Hydrant too or, or sorry, burning the trampoline too early, because if he burns it too early, Ned can jump down there, bop the, uh, the trampoline and uh, take it away if Sinji has to rely on that third hit of the trampoline. He'll just fall to his death. I feel like this ledge play is starting to get uh, Ned to be a little bit impatient. Like we saw before, he jumped off stage and ended up burning his limit. Uh, even though he had He's no already got it back, though. I... Oh, but the impatience happens here because Ned, you saw Ned throw out those short hop back airs. Yeah. He, Sinji he's... just broke that zone really quickly. All right, can we talk about how that's like the fourth time he's thrown the, uh, <laughs> the Galaxian ship, like, a, like against the stage to pick it up. But like he throws it at, at the uh, corner and then he picks it up like it bounces off. The forward air breaking the zone in the reverse though. Not enough to kill and Ned. Uh, kind of showing some emotion there. He thought he had the KO there. Yeah, I, against a player like Sinji, especially like Sinji is so devoted to playing his game as Pac-Man. He's really like the perfect like representative of the character in that way. It can be very frustrating to play against, I can only imagine. But Ned does find the KO with that up air, and now we are back at almost a parody situation. This clock is not nearly as burnt as it was in game one at this exact same point. Yeah, both these players finding a lot more hits uh, just in general. Yeah, slightly more aggressive game here on Town and City. Okay, that neutral that comes out, it is really quick. It's frame three, so it's a really good way to just punish. Just jump out of shield, come out with the neutral air. Yeah, definitely one of Pac-Man's best out of shield options. I mean, when you don't really have a functional grab, you kind of have to deal with things like using that trampoline or an air as your out of shield options. And we've seen Sinji, I believe, just throw zero grabs in this set so far. Oh yeah, <laughs> don't even want to give Cloud the opportunity. But the, the Galaxian ship again coming through really strong. Look at this damage come out. But Ned's got the answer right back. Here comes a couple of up airs. All right, waiting out that down air. Ooh, gets kind of clipped by the, uh, the trajectory of that Galaxian ship. And that back air is gonna actually work this time. I don't think Sinji was expecting that platform to come through when it did. <laughs> but a couple of pairs again, and now Ned has the lead. Oh, All right. Waka Waka's his way right into that. Ouch. Mm -hmm. 
there are good dash attacks and bad dash attacks. If you had to categorize them into two separate buckets, and that was a bad dash attack. Yeah. I mean, it, we saw the same thing in game one. Like, he, he can kind of react to the dash attack because it comes out slowly. Like, he's committed to it. Plow can just back up and punish it. If you can't commit to it by the just the visual cue, you can hear it. It just goes waka, 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 literally as you said. Yeah, and we have Sinji committing to final destination for game three. Yeah. What do you think of that? I mean, I kind of like it. Um, as soon as like he gets, if he is able to get stage control, uh, there's not really going to be any kind of platforms for uh, for Cloud to play around on. He has to like fight Sinji. He either has to like let Sinji build up his uh, his fruit traps, or he has to like run in without the assist of platforms. And Ned using the grab and vulnerability there. When you start your throw, you actually don't take any damage from ex auxiliary yes. projectiles or what it is. So he just ate the Galaxian ship right up as he did the forward throw. Smart understanding of how that works by Ned. And so far, Ned is untouched 0% in these opening salvos of game three. Yeah, 50% on Sinji so far, almost a minute in. Does find that forwarder for a quick 5%. That ship is always so scary. You, like As soon as like it, it connects on, on Ned, you know like some big combo is gonna happen. Ned looking for the ledge trump. Oh, he's gonna, oh, hello. I thought he was going to be able to grab the trampoline and save his limit. And I think that's what Ned was thinking, too. Yeah, he definitely was, but uh, Sinji had other ideas. Yeah, I think Ned knows he has all the time in the world to charge this limit right back. Look at that. It's already a third there. Utilizing the uh, platform, or the, uh, the trampoline, once again, to just escape out of the, uh, the ledge trap situation. That is Pac-Man's quickest option. But Ned is able to ledge trap with or without limit right now, and we see... Basically, this game has just been... Sinji is 90% on the ledge. Yeah, I mean, he's able to build up fruit, but he's not able to, like, make any kind of setup. He has to try to use them to escape the uh, disadvantage. That's not where Pac-Man wants to be. No, sir. He's going to have to... Okay, he's going to use just a little fruit bounce. Oh, yeah, waits it out that time, because we saw Ned go for these down tilts a lot. Oh, okay. Ned tried to neutral her there, thinking he might be able to catch the Galaxian ship, but the turnaround yeah. on that climb hazard was clutch. Yeah, nice reaction there. Uh, Ned probably lining that one up. Ooh, forward smash coming out. No punish, though. Yeah, Ned playing a little too safe for that, and he's continuing to just find these shields. He has all the time in the world to land on the stage and shield again before Sinji can throw out another aerial. Yeah, I feel like Ned's definitely got the feel of how this Galaxian ship uh, like the trajectory of it, because he's doing a good job avoiding it when Sinji throws it out. And this is where I think that final destination counter pick can turn around on Sinji, is where he just gets stuck at this ledge. He doesn't have any additional platforms to escape to, no smashable platform that allows him to retreat or anything of the sort. So it's just going to be really tricky for him to sneak out, and as long as Ned waits for these air dodges on the ledge jump, he can just get these neutral airs. Yeah, if there's one thing Sinji is, though, it's definitely persistent, and he's going to keep, uh, keep going at it. Even though he's at quite a bit of a deficit, is if he can take this stock, we know that uh, he can build up the percent back. Oh, let's see. Okay, that's decent Ooh. percent. Oh, that yeah. Even the last hit of the that uh, last ship. hit did a ton. It did like ten plus. And the bell is out. We see Ned waiting patiently after the bell did a ton to him in games one and two. I like how he used the down air to just kind of cancel the. Uh, Ooh. That was an insane yeah. setup that almost worked. Yeah, he. Definitely I don't know how to... Ned dodged that. Yeah, Sinji had that plan for sure, though. That was ridiculous. I can't. I can't even. Yeah, there's definitely some disgusting things you can do with that Hydra because it does push the items like that. But Ned's patience is showing in this current game three. He's just waiting out that in, like the incredible setups of Sinji. He just found one moment in neutral, went for just some nuts so stuff with the fire hydrant. With the bell, okay. Ned gonna sneak out of that setup again. Yeah, he definitely uh, needs to utilize this bell. Oh, and that's gonna be it. This time it worked. That was a cross. That was like some yeah. Street Fighter cross-up craziness with some projectiles. Oh my lord. Oh, that's some big damage. Twenty-three just off the uh, the hydrant and Z drop. You're just <laughs> kicking that that ship. Get out of here. Ned's just gonna get his limit back. I think he's just gonna wait out the hydrant, wait out the oh. Galaxian ship. Yeah, but it does give uh, Sinji some nice stage control. Ooh, okay. Ned trying to break the zone with this. He might be getting too impatient right now. All right, that backer's going to break the, the fire hydrant out by Ned some time. Ooh. Wow. I liked that, actually. I like that quite a bit. 
Yeah, it definitely put a lot of pressure on Sinji, but the Hydrant actually pushed Ned into it, so he got hit by the Nair as a punish. Ned waiting on the Galaxian ship this time. Okay, he's going to get some damage in. Oh, okay. Pac-Man too slow to punish that climb hazard. Yeah, I don't think uh, Sinji was like ready for the punish. There's a minute and 10 seconds left, and Sinji had the lead yeah, as he... I started that sentence, but by the end of it, Ned turned it around with that down air. Yeah, I mean, he. I, I'm not sure we're going to be seeing a timeout here with the uh, the kill power of Cloud. It's either going to be uh, he lands this kill move or Sinji's going to get some kind of setup into a KO. Ugh. Well, that air dodge Eesh. was it. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I hear some people shrieking in the crowd. That was painful, but again, Ned has the lead by 10%. Down tilt's gonna eat it. Yeah, yeah, clips that uh, that ledge hang. I'm I'm, I'm I, shook. I, I, I know, right? I'm shook as hell. All right. Oh, we oh we got the bell. Both these players have their their aces in the hole. That ain't scared. He gets that grab. What? Whoa! What? Okay. Hello? I, uh, Lila? Can we? All right, that jab gonna buy Sinji the time to the <gasps> first grab of the set. Oh my god! And the dash oh attack gonna no. do it though. That down smash just barely missed. And Sinji nods his head, pounds the fist, says GG. There was—he threw everything in the kitchen sink at him at the end there. I, 